This episode is a dramatic reading of Espresso's Deadly Brew by Peggy Gittergal underscore LBS4. You can find it on Wattpad. Link below. Enjoy. Chapter 3 Espresso soon woke up from his medically induced nap. He slowly sat up and looked around the room. He realized where he was. Oh no, Espresso said. He laid his head back down. Oh god fucking damn it, he muttered. He hated being in the hospital. He groaned. A sugar gnome nurse entered. Oh, Espresso, you have a visitor, they said. Please don't tell me it's Madeline, he mumbled. It's Madeline, they said happily. Espresso glared. I'd rather be in a coma, he said. Oh, rude much, Madeline said. But if that helps you with your lack of sleep, do it. No, Madeline, I just... Ugh, never mind, Espresso stuttered. Maddie entered and sat next to Espresso. He gently grasped the frail professor's shaky hand. In fact, the poor guy was trembling. Espresso, you look bitterly jittery and not very glittery, Maddie said. Glittery? Espresso asked. What are you talking about? It means you're tweaking out, he said. Excuse me? Espresso huffed. Kidding! Sorta. You are shaking pretty badly, though, he said. Just then, a cookie with the most gorgeous purple, black, and white silk and fur garb stood in the doorway. Espresso and Madeline both looked up at the cookie. Espresso groaned. He did not want guests. He wanted to be alone. This cookie chuckled snidely. Oh, excuse me, Latte said as she gently made her way past the, the cookie. Oh, for the love of Earthbread, Espresso shouted. Ow! Ow! Ed. Fucking migraine. Yeah, you shouldn't show it, Espresso, Madeline said. Well, maybe you should shut up, Espresso grimaced. Hey, be nice. He's just here to make you feel better, Latte said. Oh, like light magic can make me feel better, he mumbled. It has healing properties, she said softly. I'm sorry, but did I ask for your opinion? He complained. Well, I'm sorry for worrying about you, she said, holding back tears. We both thought we lost you. And Claire has documented your collapse now. He's scared of the thought of documenting your death. Everyone in the kingdom is worried about you. You have a peppermint stick up your ass and I'm sick of it. Madeline is sick of it. You need to stop being so easily offended by the magic I inherited from my parents. I can't help the fact that I was born half coffee tribe and half milk tribe. And Madeline, poor Madeline, you've been treating like shit all because of the magic he uses. I hope you learn from this, because next time, you might not make it. And the last memory me and Madeline will have of you is of a jackass who only thought of himself. Latte got up and walked away, clearly hurt by Espresso's coldness towards her. I didn't understand half of what she said, Madeline said, laughing. Of course you didn't, Espresso said. You're a good man, Espresso, Madeline said. You just have a temperament of a cat. Madeline left the room. He wasn't as upset with Espresso as Latte was. After the two left, Espresso tried to rest. A snide chuckle was heard. Espresso sat up, looked at the door. The cookie in purple was still there. Espresso groaned. What? My, my. That is no way to treat an unexpected guest, now is it? Especially one you least expect to show up, the cookie said in such a soft, charming, whisper-like voice. Oh, great, Avogado. Just perfect, Espresso said sarcastically, lying back down. Avogado chuckled again. Are you here to berate me too? Espresso asked. Are you going to rant about how you're half coffee magic, so how dare I go off on latte, blah blah? Hush, Avogado said, leaning in close to Espresso. I want to know what you're making in that lab. For pure coffee magic purposes. Hit that subscribe button, guys, come on!